Hey girls, Tiffany Dawn here, and today, as you can tell, I'm surrounded by notebooks because we're gonna talk about journaling. Journaling has been like a huge part of my life. I started journaling when I was maybe 10, and I have more than 50, five zero full journals right now. That's just like how much I love journaling because it just helps me so much. Like. When I'm going through a really tough time, it helps me process what I'm going through. It's like therapy. And it also keeps a record of all the things that God's done in my life and like the things that he's taught me. And there are also times when I really struggle to stay focused while I'm praying. And if I journal down my prayers, it helps me like focus better. Cause really journaling can look however you want it to. Like there are seasons of life where I journal every day and there are seasons where I forget to journal for like a month or two at a time. I've journaled on my computer before. I've journaled in notebooks before. I've tried the artsy ones where you're like drawing stuff, but I'm just not that artsy. So I gave those up. But just to show you how different, different people's journals can look, I asked a few of my friends to send me a picture of their journal. And so these are some of the pictures they sent. And as you can see, some of them are super Super, like artsy creative people and some of them are more like words focused like me and so it can really be whatever you want it to in my opinion the only rule of journaling is that is honesty and that means that your journal is a reflection of who you are as a person so like your personality can go into it you can make it whatever you want it to be but also that you're honest with yourself and with God like the pages of my journal are very very honest pages Lord I'm struggling with this Lord I feel these emotions that are really hard right now um, and I think that that's part of what gives it so much power in my walk with God so if you want to start journaling and you're not sure where to start here are a few ideas for you so the first thing that I usually do when I'm journaling is just kind of write down what I'm thinking so kind of like a flow of thought kind of thing so like this morning I woke up and felt super anxious so I started writing about that and like praying about it and writing down what was on my heart about it if there's something big going on in my life that I feel like I need to note in my journals I'll write that down too and then if I read a Bible verse or like a quote in a book that really speaks to me I'll write that down as well here's what's on my mind here's what's happening in my life here's what God is teaching me but if you're somebody who really struggles to know like what is on my mind that day. Here are some other ways that you can get started. So idea number two, try turning a Bible passage into a prayer in your own words. So I actually used this, learned this through Beth Moore's study called the Psalms of Ascent Stepping Up. And you would study the Psalm and then you would turn the Psalm into your own prayer to God. So let me read you an example of how I did this. So Psalm 121 says, I raise my eyes toward the mountains. Where will my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. The protector of Israel does not slumber or sleep. So I wrote my own version, which says, Lord, I lift my eyes, the eyes of my soul to you. Who will help me? I know you will. You, God and Lord and maker of heaven and earth. You protect me. You keep my feet solidly planted. You never sleep. You never lose sight of me. And so it kind of makes the psalm take on a whole new level of meaning if you write it in your own words like a prayer to God as applies to your life that day. So tip number three, you can actually do meditation in your journal. Meditation on scripture is like so powerful. You hear it talked about all the time in the Bible. And it's basically like mulling over this passage over and over in your head and like praying it out loud to God, thinking about it, talking to God about it. A lot of times I do this in silence where I'm just like, think about a passage for a certain amount of time, pray about it, and then I'll write down what I learned. But if you have a hard time doing that in silence, you could just write it in your journal. So like write the passage down, give yourself like five minutes or it could be less than that. It could be like a minute or two. And you just like free write, just like anything that comes to mind when you see that passage. Like pray that God would bring things to mind and then write down like other verses that come to mind, words that come to mind, phrases that come to mind, just everything that comes to mind. Don't like filter it out, just like write it all down. And then you can go back and look at it afterwards and like see what themes you're seeing or what you've learned from it. So that's another way to get started. Number four is you can write down some lists in your journal as well. So in some of my journals, I have to-do lists and the reason is because I'll start spending time with God and then I get distracted thinking, oh my goodness, I forgot. I have to get this done today. I cannot forget this. And it's like all I can think about. But if I write it down in my journal, then I can stop thinking about it, go back, focus on God, and then know that it'll be there so I can read it at the end of my time and I won't forget. Another kind of list you can write in your prayer journal is prayer requests that people have asked you to pray for and you can write down the person's name and their prayer requests so you don't forget. And another kind is also gratitude lists. And I feel like when we are thankful for all the things we have, it just puts life 
puts us in such a better mood. It makes life seem so much better and happier. And so if you write down a list or even one thing a day that you're grateful for, and it can be anything from like, I'm so thankful I have a rug in my house, my feet are not cold, and that I have slippers on because it's freezing today, all the way to, I'm so thankful for what Jesus did for me. You can even write down like one thing a day that you're grateful for and just keep adding to that list. Number five is writing down what God speaks to you on things that have been on your heart or how he answers something that you've been praying about for a long time. Like write those things down. I think it's so cool to go back and read in my journals and just see that record of how God has been faithful in my life and also just the things I've learned, like the really hard seasons of life and all the beautiful things that have come out of them. And to be able to see that like captured in a journal is so cool. It's like reading a novel. I love it. Write down those things. If God like meets you in this really tough spot or answers a prayer that you've been praying and praying about, write those things down so you never forget them. The last thing I'll say is there's this YouTuber who has a really cool video about journaling with some journaling prompts, like questions that you can ask yourself to get you started. So I've linked that video in the description below because I really enjoyed hearing what she had to say. So girls, I hope that this could help in some way. And as always, comment your thoughts below. How do you journal? What are the things you talk about? Because I love hearing your thoughts on all this stuff. To all you fellow Americans, happy Thanksgiving, which is this Thursday. For those of you who are not Americans, we have this holiday, the fourth Thursday of every November called Thanksgiving. Most people have turkey and cranberry sauce. My family has Mexican food because it's way better, but my family is gonna be out of town without me this year, so I have to have turkey. So pray for me that I'll survive. Love you all, bye. Actually, this is the first journal entry I have on record. December 23rd, 1995. Today was a big cleanup day, but it was worth it. Afterwards, we opened presents and I got this dazzled journal. How Isaac, for he got it for me, I do not know. <laughs> Clearly, that's not a whole sentence. Actually, I did not tell anyone I wanted a fancy journal, but of course God knew. I'm so glad. I love this journal. Today, Dad taught me a wonderful lesson to not be selfish. <laughs> I do not know if I can ever can possibly forget that lesson. I am Tiffany, age nine.